Hey everyone, this is Contro from Contro Sewing and welcome back to another edition of DIY Sewing. In this video tutorial I'll be showing you how to make this 25 to 30 liters everyday carry backpack. As you can see, it's quite, quite nice, it's small and it will fit perfectly on your back. You can wear this every day on your way to work or your quick adventures it's lightweight and it's easy to carry. Alright, so let me give you a rundown of its features. So first off, as you can see, it's, it, it will fit perfectly on your back, on your torso. Uh, it's 25 centimeters uh, wide, 55 centimeters in height and, in, and 15 centimeters in width. You can see there are some pulse webbing on the front for further attachments. You have some velcro here so you can put some morale patches. On both sides, as you can see, we have some compression straps, two compression straps on each side with some quick release buckles and some additional molly, uh, some additional pulse webbing on the sides. Also, we have a double zipper. Inside we have a pocket, one pocket only. Also, we have a strong and sturdy, strong and sturdy handle for carrying it. We have some shoulder straps from 5 cm webbing with some daisy chains on both sides and a chest strap here. Alright, so let's start sewing. Okay, so this is what you will need for this uh, backpack we're going to make so uh, we need uh, top part or uh, zipper part will be 15 centimeters by 55 centimeters so this one is uh, uh, 15 by 55 centimeters this is top part uh, we have bottom part which is 15 centimeters by 110 centimeters uh, remember to add uh, to the bottom part always add 5 to 10 centimeters more just in case uh, it's easier to cut the excess rather than add it later. Okay, next. Uh, so I chose this uh, part of fabric which will be for my inner pocket. Uh, you can choose whatever fabric you like. I chose something lightweight because with all the heavy fabric I reckon the, the backpack itself will have some weight on it. So the at least we can subtract some weight by adding some lightweight fabric uh, on the inside. So this is for our pocket. And we have two sides which will be front and back side. Uh, both are um, 25 centimeters by 55 centimeters. So it's a big rectangle. Okay, so two of those and uh, for the plastic stuff or uh, if you're using uh, metal stuff uh, you will need these, I don't know if you can see it but it says here it's LK25WG so these are plastic adjusters you can find uh, you can find those on uh, every backpack below the shoulder straps it, they are used to adjust the, the tension of the shoulder straps and to adjust the size of 
the shoulder straps. Now these are very cool, you can do lots of stuff with this if you're uh, creative. Alright. Next thing you will going to need are plastic buckles. I use all my plastic stuff is from the uh, from uh, YKK brand. It's a world known brand for zippers, for plastic buckles, fasteners and stuff like that. They're top quality. Uh, so this is the uh, LB25R uh, plastic buckle. Uh, for this project we will use five of those. And then uh, you will need this, these three bar adjusters. These are really cool, especially for backpacks. You're going to see what's their purpose. Uh, so this is a LA50S three bar adjuster. Then we are going to need some zipper, zipper coil, some 50 to 60 centimeters of this and lastly we will need some zipper heads these are 5 mm YKK zipper heads uh, which go which go onto the zipper coil also 5 mm zipper heads okay so let's start first with the front side of the backpack Alright, so the uh, first thing you want to do is to mark middle points, like I did, so use the ruler and since, we, uh, since the measure is 25 centimeters, we will need 12 and a half centimeters middle point on the bottom and middle point on the top here. Next thing we want to do is to add some curvature to our backpack to add some style to it uh, if you remember in my video I made a um, tutorial on how to make some of these which I found to be really useful and really great yeah you can check that tutorial I'll post the link in the description and I'll try to add that notification icon thingy uh, so let's add some curvature so I already drawn two, two of those here now let's add some to the bottom Okay, so something like this. Also, what you need to know about using some of these is that when you get the overall measure, you need to take into account this curve that you are drawing here, because you took the measurements of the rectangle and now you are not using it anymore, instead you are using this curve. and. By using that curve, you're adjusting the measurements. So uh, sides, bottom and top part are not going to be exactly the same. To know how much you uh, reduced the size of the fabric is like this. So you're going to take this measure tool and you're going to start measuring from the from this point where these two lines meet. So this point here and you're going to start adjusting the you're going to start to adjust this uh, measurement tool like this to measure what's the size of that curve that you are drawn. So this is some cent seven centimeters. So we reducted the size So we have 
five centimeters and five centimeters here so this is five here and five here so we have ten centimeters in this part here and seven centimeters in this part here so we reduce the size by three centimeters on this side so you need to take that into account when you're drafting the top and bottom part so we have 12 centimeter reduction or six centimeter reduction on top side and six centimeter reduction on bottom side but whatever the case as I said many times it's better to have more fabric which you can cut easily out if you don't need it rather than having the lack of fabric to finish the pouch all right so let's start by adding some pulse webbing to this front pocket to this front side let's add some logo and some velcro for morale patches all right so uh, again i have a video tutorial on how to make uh, pulse webbing so let's start sewing the pulse webbing case okay, so i added a middle point line so i can correctly sew the logo on the exact middle front part Alright, now let's add that velcro. Uh, by the way, cool trick when uh, wrestling with big uh, and bulky fabric, if you are sewing something large, uh, fold one side, use one of these or two of these, clip it on the side. so and then it's much easier to maneuver okay so right now at hand I only have this two and a half centimeter velcro so I'll have to do work with that okay so I'll add two uh, two lines of those side by side So our logo is sewn 4 cm from the top and this line here is 15 cm from the top so we will sew the velcro 15 cm from the top. something like that
Okay, so we need seven of those. I'll just proceed to cut five more. Okay, as I said, I have a video tutorial on how to sew pulse webbing, so you will check that out, so I don't have to explain it now. Link in the description.
right so this is the result it took a bit of time to make it so this is for morale patches if you want you can add more uh, of the velcro here uh, the whole length here but that's up to you or even add whole row of uh, pulse webbing it's up to you so this is for this is the front part of the pouch now let's go to the sides on the zipper and onto the bottom and left and right side okay so for the top part or the zipper part we're going to take our 55 by 15 centimeters part of the fabric you want to find the middle points and connect those and cut the fabric Right. Now that we cut fabric in half, it's time to add a zipper. If you're interested in how to sew a zipper, I have a video tutorial about it, which I will post in the description. Okay, so let's put those zipper heads, try to align the boat parts. Ok, 
Okay, now as you can see, these waves like that, it looks pretty ugly because the fabric is stronger than the zipper coil and it tends to fold it and uh, uh, it doesn't look nice but when it's sewn on the backpack it's going to be okay so don't worry about it okay next thing we want to add some pull tabs for zipper so pull tabs and then Let's add some cordage to the zipper pull tabs. I use um, 25 centimeters. simple overhand knot This is our finished zipper top part. Now it's time to start sewing the bottom and sides in the next section. Okay, so we are now at the bottom part. <coughs> so first thing we want to do find the middle points and then what you want to do next is find the middle point here the width of the side is 15 centimeters and we want half of it so that's seven and a half centimeters and let's do that for the other side as well uh, now we marked the, the wrong side of this part of the fabric. Now we need to mark the outside of, the, of this fabric. So the main thing you need to do is to find the middle point here and translate it to the right side.
now that we have marked uh, outside, I found the middle points and the edges. So the next thing you want to do from the middle point, you want to mark 18 centimeters to the right, 18 centimeters to the left. Let's do that to the top side here. Centimeters. All right. Next thing you want to do is to add two and a half centimeter, two and a half centimeters from the 18 centimeter mark, and then another 22 centimeters. So let's repeat that. So we have 18 centimeters, two and a half centimeters and another 22 centimeters. Now that we mark that, so uh, what you just did is that you marked where uh, where our um, compression straps are going to be. So we have the first compression strap at the 18 centimeter, two and a half centimeters for the two and a half centimeters for the webbing that will go as a compression strap. Then another 22 centimeters that will go as another compression strap here. And everything in the middle of those 22 centimeters, of those two points, will be either uh, will be pulse webbing. Or if you don't want to do it, you don't have to. I will do it just for the sake of it. Okay, so. Let's measure the length of the webbing. And now let's see how much do we need. So we have a compression strap here. So let's lay space for one. So, four, four of these straps for each side. So to make this easier, let's draw one side like this. Get it out of the way. 
put these bigger ones and now it's much easier to sew and maneuver Okay, like we said, so we have a compression strap at 18 centimeters here. We are going to leave one space here and we are sewing on the next one. Okay, so this is our false webbing. Now let's add those compression straps. For each, for each side, we will need two compression straps. That, mean, that means we will, you will need two of these buckles. So first thing, we need to Get that one side so for this shorter side 10 centimeters you'll need four of those start with one side so you pull this through like this and place it just where we are going to place this so use the uh, part of the webbing and just add one space to the to the set. Pull that out and that's your that's where it should be. do a row of stitching okay
same thing for for the bottom side skip one space here and place the webbing like so Okay, now that that's done, we need to add some more webbing for the for the other side. We are going to add three times the length of the the length of the of this side. So three times that's uh, 45 centimeters for each side. Okay, so four of those 45 centimeters. Okay, so adding same space of one webbing and sewing that. Right. This is what we got here. So this is our compression strap here, one and the other. Now we are not done yet here. What we want to do is add a elastic loop which we are going to make so take some elastic tape webbing whatever you call this uh, and just take a measure of your webbing and add some half to one centimeter here like so so seven and a half centimeters. We need four of those for each strap. Ok, 
okay so next thing you want to do is fold it like that and sew some one centimeter from here to here like this give it a few stitching give it few stitches to hold it Okay, so next thing, you want to turn it around, turn it inside out. Alright. Here's what we are going to do. So pull that strap out just slide that in like so okay so next thing we want to do is weave this through and through the loop and last thing for each strap we want to fold that to sew the end of the strap like this so it doesn't fall out so the right way to do it you see this teeth here on its lower side so as the loop goes from the left to the uh, from the left to the right and then back again the way you're going to sew it is you're going to sew it like that So fold it underneath, like so. So hopefully that will prevent a compression strap going out through here and you losing this part of the buckle. Okay, so I'll repeat the process. Okay, so we got our compression strap here.
so this is one side finished okay so let's sew the other side Okay, so important note here is um, where to sew the compression straps, the shorter part of it. You need to sew it on the same side here. So the same side, that would be this side here. Okay, so proceeding on. Okay, so this is finished, so this is our bottom and left and right side with both, with four compression straps, two on each side. We have some power webbing here, which might come in handy. Uh, Alright, so next thing is to go to the back side of the backpack okay so first thing i want to say is that uh, you can add some Okay, so for the back side, uh, you can add some foam on the back side uh, of the pack, so it has some softness on your back. Uh, I'm going to skip that because this is a small backpack and it's not really, you can't fit too much stuff in it. Also, I don't have... Uh, quality foam to put it 
so skipping that step and continuing on with the inner side we want to sew a pocket on the inner side of the pocket of the, of the backpack so to do that I have this fabric I found in my so I have a, I have a lots of this fabric so I decided to use it I've cut the whole um, 55 centimeter length, as you can see. But we are going to use uh, 45 centimeters of it as a as a inner pocket. Okay, so let's start first with. Sewing this As you can see it's it's kind of fray, fraying and we want to avoid that Okay, so next thing we want to do is to add a elastic tape over this. I have a nice one centimeter elastic tape. I have a video tutorial about how to do this, how to do this to add some tension on the on this part of the pocket by using elastic tape.
As I said, I have a video tutorial on sewing pockets and uh, in that video there are four types of pockets that I covered and one of those was sewing uh, a pocket with the elastic top and uh, with the bottom part you will see as I progress how I'm going to do this bottom part of the pocket So we are so as you can see we are we have more fabric than the back side of the backpack for the pocket so you're going to take the bottom part bottom angle and place it exactly here and this excess part you're going to fold Push the rest beneath like that, like that and just fold it over. As you can see it's a Z shape. Let's repeat that for the other side of the pocket. We will do the same thing with the bottom part here. As you can see we have more than the fabric beneath, so we'll split that into two. Like this. So the way we will do this, we are going to find the middle point, middle point here, we are going to pinch this to make the fabric, to make fabric even with the bottom one and just fold this 
on itself, like so. Okay, so we got our inner pocket, get some space here, you see, Now it's time for the outer part. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so now that we have finished the pocket, now it's time to sew the handle, which will go here, and we need to sew the shoulder uh, holders for four shoulder straps but before we do that we need to We need to uh, mark the edges. Now, we need to see Okay, so next thing we want to make a handle for our backpack so we can carry it and the handle is going to be 29 centimeters but you're also going to use another part of the webbing so by the way this is 5 centimeter webbing and this is 2.5 centimeter webbing so cut the exact same amount mark four centimeters from both sides like this First thing we want to do is to sew the two and a half centimeter two and a half centimeter webbing onto the five and a half five centimeter webbing. Just sew it straight on. Another row. Okay, next thing. So 
also we have our marked 4 cm here you want to start sewing from that point so you're going to fold that um, 5 cm webbing onto the 2.5 cm webbing like so and start sewing from the 4 cm point and as you go along you're folding the 5.5 cm onto the 2.5 cm webbing to the other side where there is mark 4 cm and you're going to do double stitching here and continue Okay, so we got our handle Okay, so I did a mistake by sewing and I forgot to actually start recording. So I have to I had to rip all the seams and start again. All right. Next thing you want to do from the middle point you're going to mark six centimeters from to the left and to the right and you're going to mark three centimeters from the left and the right you're going to take this uh, three bar adjuster shoulder strap holder that we made and you're going to place it facing down okay so this is our actual back panel this is uh, touching our back outside of the backpack it's not inner pocket this is our inner side so this is our pocket it's important to know that and we are placing it Facing, uh, we are placing it looking down like that this is our six centimeter mark and you're going to place it down like that Now for the other one, place it as well on the 6 cm mark. <coughs> and now for our 
handle you're going to place it on the three centimeter mark like that like that it's going to overlap it's going to overlap with the that shoulder strap holder and you're going to sew over it do that for the other side as well Okay, so we have our handle and we have our shoulder strap holders. Now, onto the shoulder straps. Okay, so you're going to cut two of those. They're going to be 55 centimeters long, 5 centimeter webbing. Now let's run the ends. Right. Now, <clears throat> next thing, uh, this will be more, uh, you should check that. Now we need to mark some things and you will do that yourself uh, because everybody's body is different. So I've done this according, so I've done these measures to my uh, torso. So you're going to need, you're going to do this next thing, so you're going to thread this shoulder strap inside, like so. Like that. So you fold it over and thread it backwards, like that. It's going to stick some four centimeters and these are the markings for my body and you're going to do that for your own so uh, you're going to place this on your back and you, this will be this mark here is right below your uh, collarbone line uh, just where the chest muscle and uh, the shoulder meet that's the line you're, uh, you're going to place and the next line is just below your chest muscle and this is the rest which is going to below your arm so this is your chest area this here so I'm going to tell you these measures, but you can do these according to your own body. My measures are 17 centimeters from the top. This is going inside that three bar adjuster. And then we have some 26 centimeters chest area and 12 centimeters below the chest. Why is this important? Uh, let's mark this as well. Okay, so why is this important? Because we want to make daisy chain for the chest area so you can clip carabiners or 
for some utility. You're going to do the next thing. You're going to mark every five centimeters. the shoulder strap as well Here is what you're going to do. Take some two and a half centimeter webbing. Take the ruler, or I have this broken one, which uh, has really good purpose. First thing you want to do, so uh, this is our shoulder side, and this is our uh, color bone line. So you're going to so following the middle line here you're going to sew a uh, few times to hold it in place you can do a cross stitch or box, box shape stitch, it's up to you. And this is the, this is next thing you want to do. So we have our five centimeter mark. You can leave it at that. But what I like to do is add one centimeter more, so six centimeters. And you're going to fold it like that. And sew it a few times to hold it in place. And repeat that process. Again. So following the middle line, you want to align this two and a half centimeter strap in the middle. So. Adding one centimeter. Keep repeating that. Now when you get to the last part, you're going to do the next thing. You're going to skip some 10 centimeters 
Okay, so skip 10 centimeters. and add another 10 so we have skipped 10 centimeters here and we have added another 10 centimeters you're going to take one of these plastic adjusters and you're going to thread the two and a half centimeter webbing through it through this just through we want to catch this one this bar here like that and this is going inside like that and this is going underneath the webbing itself like so and you want to sew this area here you can do a box shape stitch here So this is our shoulder strap, as you can see, nice daisy chains here, nice daisy chain here, five loops, and we have bigger one here, but we are not finished yet. So we need to place that chest strap, that's really important. Now take some 10 centimeters ten centimeter webbing like that. This will be our left shoulder strap, so you can mark that. Okay, so this will be our left shoulder strap and this part is going on our left side or you can do it uh, the opposite, it's up to you I'm doing it this way and you're going to sew this and you're going to sew this exactly below the last daisy loop in the middle here 
like this so you're going to grab this like that and you want to sew a box shape stitch here as well I hope you see this well like that so let's repeat take this and one goes below and other goes above and let's sew Alright, so that's our left shoulder strap. Now, let's continue on with the second one, the right one. Right. Repeating the process, so add maybe one centimeter here for the cross stitch here. adding one centimeter to the loop try following the middle line here so it's nice and neat
so uh, the last part is six centimeter longer but you can just add one centimeter over it and you'll get the same result okay let's add 20 centimeters centimeter mark here and another 10 centimeter here take the second plastic adjuster goes underneath like that we want to sew box shape stitch here in cross shape. Right. We got our right shoulder strap. We want to add some webbing here. can add some 30 to 40 centimeters of webbing let's sew it here so lift this part and sew it underneath
Now we need another thing, so let's make that elastic loop again. Place it on the on the strap. Now thread the webbing through this part and let's repeat what we did with those compression 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 straps through the elastic loop and like that and show it over Now that we have our shoulder straps, let's place them on the backpack. So, first with the left one, like we said, thread it through like that. over it and that should hold it in place like that now repeat for the other one go also we need to add some straps here as well from the bottom let's add some 50 centimeters for both sides This is what you're going to do. So, you need to sew it at an angle. So it's not, uh, it can be straight up, like that, but it's not really great. So some 45 degree angle, but that will be up to you. So you'll have to experiment with that. And just, uh, you're going to want to sew it just where this curvature finishes, so here, like that. And let it stick inside some 
1 to 2 centimeters. And give it a few stitches. Let's repeat for the other side as well. Now the next thing, you want to take that 50 centimeter to an, that 50 centimeter strap, and you want to thread it through the plastic adjuster. So, going from below, below, upwards, through this this place here and you can see and then back to this slot here like that and should look something like this shorter end should stick out like that and you want to close it facing downwards, downwards like this and give it a few stitches. Okay, now let's repeat that. Take your strap, make sure it's nice and neat. It doesn't so it doesn't twist. Nice and neat. Through this slot here. Into this first one. And then just fold it this way, downwards like that, and sew it. Alright, so back side finally done. Now it's time to assemble the, the backpack. And first we will start from the top. Okay, so finally it's time to assemble the backpack. Now you're going to take your zipper part, you're going to fold it in half. And just press it to find your middle point. Alright. It's going to take a bit of wrestling with the whole thing, but you will have to bear with it.
so we want to align the middle points of the top part and of the bottom part of the back part align those and start sewing Now before we continue, you want to pull this, you want to take this off so it will be easier to sew. leave some six to seven centimeters don't sew it all the way Again, take the shoulder strap off, it will be easier to maneuver. Okay, so the time has finally come to sew the bottom part to the to the backpack. But first, let's let's do this first. Let's secure the shoulder straps back on. It's a bit cramped here, but we'll have to manage. So we have our back panel here with the marked middle point and we have our and we have our side and bottom part so the way we want to do this this 
needs to be close to your back this shorter part so that will go like this Attention. Okay, so we want this part to face this part here. So place it like that, and that will be the right way. Now we need to find the middle point. Here's our middle point here. Let's align those two. Like that. Place it under the machine and sew it. Now we come to the crucial part, so we want our, since we left some space here, and we sewn the top part, you want to fold the bottom part on itself, like that, and place the top part over it. And now you can see how much of the bottom part we need. And now... Something like that. That's some um, two and a half to three centimeters. That, that, would sh that should be enough. And now that length we've... Uh, And now the uh, bottom part comes into play, the, the excess canvas that we added, some, some extra 5 to 10 centimeters. Um, now we can cut that off, but that's important that we have more than we need, so we can work Before you continue, now before you sew it back on, you want to cut the excess, and you going to you're going to use the measure of the of the top part. So this line here is what you want. Everything below it, you can cut it off.
so that's some five centimeters excess canvas excess fabric Now sew it back on, now sew it the other way. before we sew it we want to fold the bottom part and place the top part top part over it like that then add some two to three centimeters and we can cut the rest Now the next thing to do is to sew our sides together, bottom and left, bottom and, and top part, like that. So fold it over, hold it in place and Okay, so let's repeat the process for the other part. So 
so we want to fold that bottom part like that and place the top part over it like so and now sew it Okay, so that's finally done. That was at the limits of my of what my machine can do, uh, but somehow I managed. I need to get walking foot ASAP. All right, so the time has come. For us to sew the the front panel onto the backpack, but first we want to mark on the back side. We want to mark the we want markations on the back side of the front panel. So we see so we can see what we are sewing so go ahead and mark as you can see I kind of can see here uh, against the light so that will be really helpful if not you're going to have to draw it again Alright, so first things first. Alright, so first thing we need to do, we want to mark the middle points and sew them onto the onto the top and bottom side. So let's go ahead and do that first. So the bottom part first and just give it a few stitches here to hold it in place
Alright. Now, next thing we want to do, we want to sew from the curved edges here, from here to here. And we want to do that on the top and on the bottom side. So let's go first and do the bottom side first. I had to move the camera away because I have to maneuver all this bag and I keep hitting the camera all the time. So you have to bear with me. Alright, so we'll start from the middle point. We'll go to the to one side, go back and then to the middle again. Let's try this angle. Okay, now back to the middle point. Alright, now let's repeat that for the top side. I apologize for the bad angle. I'm trying my best to wrestle with this, with all this fabric and to point the camera at the right angle.
Okay, now that that's done, all we have to do is sew our sides. We have a left and right sides to sew. Let's start first with the right side. We are continuing from this stitch here, so we want to take a few centimeters from this part and sew it all the way down to this part here. You want to sew it two times to secure it to be strong. Right now for the other side.
Alright, that was a lengthy video and it took some time. It took me actually three days because my machine kept breaking down and I had to and I had to repair it every time it broke down. I hope you managed to make the the backpack that I tried to show you. Of course there are lots of mishaps and maybe things that I missed to tell you or show you because it was a lengthy video and there were a lot of places to make mistakes. Anyways, I hope you learned how to make one of these or at least some technique from this video that is going to help you in the next projects. I wish you happy holidays, happy new year and I wish you all the best in the new year. Hopefully the next one is going to be <laughs> better. Uh, okay, so if you liked what you've seen here, comment down below and tell me what did you think of it. Subscribe, like, share and if you uh, want to support this channel and help it grow you can go on my Patreon page and support me there. Uh, I would appreciate that very much. I have a new goal. I want to get a better machine, a walking foot triple feed machine because this one, as you uh, had the chance to see, has its limits. Alright, so thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next video.